Hey there everyone, my name is Floyd and I'll be doing an express TypeScript with Cognito authentication um, as a backend service. So this is going to be my first video and one of the reasons why I picked this video was because I found it really tough to find an express backend with Cognito service hooked up as the authentication service. So I just thought of like putting the information out there and the more that everyone knows the better and then this solidifies what I know too. So without further ado, um, just to get into some of the basics for some of you people that haven't um, worked with Express or don't know what Express is or even, even Cognito for that, uh, uh, for that fact or even TypeScript actually. So just a little something, right? So what is Express? So Express is a minimal and flexible Node.js web application framework that provides a robust set of features for web and mobile applications. So Express is this really nice wrapper around Node.js, which just allows you to make, um, make routes and allow you to use middlewares, attach middlewares, use different packages, so on and so forth in a very like developer friendly manner. So as I said, like it allows you to set up middlewares to respond to HTTP requests um, so that um, the request doesn't have to go that far down the, the channel. It can get stopped somewhere at the middleware. So let's say there's a middleware to check something in the database. You can do that somewhere in the middleware. Um, so yeah, it defines a routing table which helps, um, which is used to perform different actions based on HTTP methods and, and URLs. Um, allows dynam dynamically rendering HTML pages based on past and arguments to templates. Fortunately, we won't be doing this, but I can cover this in the next video. This will just be purely API based, um, which is kind of what, um, what we've come to. I don't want to say we're in the direction we're going to, but a lot of the applications getting made now are the front end is headless and then the back end is uh, just an API service. Um, so Express is a fam framework that leverages JavaScript. So we code, we, we code Express using JavaScript. Um, and then JavaScript also comes with its pros and cons. Um, but because of some of the cons, I've introduced TypeScript into this tutorial. So it just allows you to know exactly what you're coding um, out leveraging JavaScript. So um, well, one of the pitfalls that JavaScript has is that um, it's not type safe, right? Like that, that variable can be anything and, and like everything at the same time. So TypeScript just allows you to like kind of lock that variable in, like define it as a string or some or a number or an integer, um, how, like how you would do it in other languages. Um, moving on to Cognito. So what is Cognito? Um, Amazon Cognito is an authentication service that helps carry out authentication for your web applications. So Cognito lets you um, add users, sign up, sign in. It, it allows access control to web and mobile apps quickly and e easily. Amazon Cognito scales to millions of users. So that's one thing you don't have to look out for. Um, it supports um, sign in with the social sign in identity providers such as Facebook, Google, Amazon, and enterprise identity providers um, via SAML 2.0. Um, it's very efficient. Um, it's a very quick and efficient way instead of building your authentication service from the, the ground up. So one of the great things is that, um, let's say you, uh, you, you build an application, you push it to production, right? Like there's always maintenance tasks that you got to do for like all your services. And if you offload that authentication service to Amazon Cognito, that's one less thing you got to worry about because they always keep up to date with um, the, the latest and greatest changes. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the coding port portion of things. Um, I've spoken enough and I hope that everyone has, has got a good understanding about what's going on or what are the services that we're, we're using in this tutorial. Um, but if you can just, just do a little research, I'll drop a few resources down in the, in the description. So we got our, so yeah, so we got our express. Um, Cognito um, folder setup. So if we, let's make this full screen. Um, present working directory. You see, we got an Express Cognito uh, folder. So now what we're going to do is we're using npm to manage all our packages, right? So let's uh, let's initialize an npm uh, project. So we go npm init. Um, if I can spell. 
and uh, yeah we can skip through all this it's not really um, important it doesn't really make a change either okay so now we got npm um, the package.jjson ready over here um, let's download some packages so some of the main packages that we'll need is um, typescript of course so let's download that first so npm install typescript um, we need ts node as a compiler um, we need um, types uh, for node and we need types for express now all of this will need to be um, saved as a dev dependency um, because this is the stuff that you don't really push into production so let's give this a quick install um, and over here you'll see it's under oh it's under dependencies oh i put it the other way it's dash dash save dash dev dash dash save dash dev there we go so now it's a, a dev dependency over here and now let's download the the big boy over here which is express so let's do a regular npm install express um, what we will also need with this is um, body parser which is a middleware body parser which will help us um, encrypt and um, sorry not encrypt and decrypt but to parse json objects in the body um, also another thing we're going to do is use express validator um, just to do some quick checking of our of, of our payload whether it's what we expect um, yeah and so let's install this over here cool oh yeah let's do another thing and install a uh, node mon um, this will be in uh, dev dependency so npm install node mon dash dash save dash dev and then we can get uh, nodemon's cool because it's just hot reloading of um of our file so i don't have to like stop the server and start it again um so like it's it's kind of just a pain in the in the butt work pain in the poo poo um so yeah so let's do let's make a dev script and let's just make that call nodemon I'll show you why, like, oh, how is Nodemon calling? How, how is Nodemon, how does Nodemon know exactly what to do? Um, let's just make a start script for our, for our compiled code. So it'll be ts-node, um, dist server dot um, js. Oh, let's just do this, yeah, cool. Cool. Um, so yeah, so let's make a couple of folders now. So all of our coding will be inside the source folder. So we can do that. Um, and then inside our source folder, we will have a server dot TypeScript folder where we'll help kind of um, build out our server application over here. And then just another uh, another file that we will use is app dot um, ts over here. Um, so let's start with the uh, with the app dot ts over here. So first and foremost, we need to import uh, like single quotes sumi. We will import express um, from the express npm package, and also another type that'll come in handy is um, the application type from express so we go express and then we will pull out the application type from here cool and now one of the beautiful parts of using um, typescript is the fact that we can use sure um, classes and stuff are all um, I believe they're ESX friendly now, but it just it just gives you that extra sense of assurance that this this code will work in production. So now we can make a class of um, app over here, and then um, let's make a public um, public app of type application, and then um, this application will have to run on a port. So that'll be. Um, what port we're going to be running it on and this um, will have a constructor constructor 
um, which will take in uh, a variable called app init and this um, object will have a port of type number um, it will also have a middleware it will take in middleware where's type any it's it pretty complicated um, and controllers too um, controllers of type any I think I forgot something over here there we go um, and that is our constructor over here and then um, so obviously we're gonna start express in here so we start the express server um, we will also store the port number um, using app in it dot port cool cool and then over here just to start the server we will do a public function called listen which will listen to um, a port so app dot uh, this dot app dot listen um, which will take the port number which was passed in through the constructor and um, it will there will be an arrow function over here it takes a it takes a callback function and then we're just gonna console log that the app has started app has started on port uh, dollar sign curly bracket and this dot port great cool this was some of the the more basic stuff so let's export this app app export default um, class which is an app cool so now let's save this file and let's go on the server so now on the server is where we will be um, pulling in the the app file so we're gonna be pulling in the app file and getting the app class from there and then we're just gonna const this will be our application equals to new app and the app dot in it had a port um, variable so we're gonna start on port 3000 um, it takes in controllers but don't worry about this for now we will not get into it um, yet take a array of controllers um, and then we'll also take an array of middlewares cool yeah and then at the bottom here we will do app dot listen oh another thing is we did get um, um, body parser working first let's um, make sure all these files are saved um, this should be the basics of, of starting the application